Oh, that's too much. Hey everyone, NWA Prepper here. Welcome to my truck at night. So I want to just take a couple minutes to talk to you about something that is very, very important. It's not going to be a shock to anyone that I say this, but this is easily one of the most important preparedness items that you should do to tomorrow, today, as soon as you can, if you have not already. Above all else, because this directly relates to emergencies right now, today. You need a working smoke detector, and if you have any gas appliances, you need a carbon monoxide detector. You need them right now. You need them to have functioning batteries. So this coming weekend is, sorry about all the, the bright lights. So that'll help a little. So this weekend, or the weekend before I'm making this video, is daylight savings time. And that is when the weekend that we as firefighters tell you to change the batteries in your smoke detectors and your carbon monoxide detectors. And that stands true. However, there is an option for smoke detectors that have a 10 year battery. That means you don't replace it, it's internal. So it stay, as long as that battery is good, that smoke detector is good. And when it starts to chirp, beep, beep, you know, every, every few seconds, that means it's time to replace the whole detector versus the ones that I have in my home when they start chirping or not constantly going off, that means it, it needs new batteries or something might be wrong. And so I vacuum them every now and then. Uh, I do not use a blower. Uh, I va use a vacuum with a little brush and, and brush around them and I change the batteries. You need to, to get them. You need to put them where the directions or the manufacturers recommend you put them. You need one outside your bedrooms I think you should put one inside your bedrooms you know you need one outside anywhere that's going that has the possibility of a fire bedrooms make a difference uh, yes my smoke detector goes off sometimes when I'm cooking bacon and it is a pain in the rump and it doesn't matter if you're making beef bacon or turkey bacon or pig bacon or ostrich bacon when you burn meat a little bit it's going to make it go off that's okay that's fine ventilate it make sure the batteries are good but you need them today this very day in, in the one day that i am talking about since eight o'clock this morning i have been on three separate emergencies that those devices would have or had oh sorry about the bumps made a giant difference simple as that they've made a difference today right now i just left a home that they had an odor of gas they have gas appliances and they did not have a carbon monoxide detector installed they had two of them in a closet brand new in the box oh we were going to get around to it if that had happened in the middle of the night now fortunate fortunately thank thank the lord there wasn't an issue it was a small easily fixable problem but had that been an issue had a pilot light went out had there something happened where their house was getting flooded with gas after they had gone to bed in another few minutes they just wouldn't have woke up there would have been no tomorrow for them their family would not have seen them tomorrow over a small little device 
that's not terribly expensive, that's super easy to install. You either screw them to the wall or there's some that you plug in into an, an existing outlet. They're sold everywhere. They're sold at home supply stores. They're sold at hardware stores. They're sold at Walmart. They're sold at, at grocery stores. Get smoke detectors and get carbon monoxide detectors. They save lives. Structure fire this morning. Now, fortunately, nobody was injured. It's been a great day, a terrible day, but a great day because nobody was injured. But if those events had happened now, people are going to bed. People are tired. It's been a long day. They're, you know, they're going to bed. They're taking their ambient. They're putting on their CPAP machine. They're taking their Tylenol PM or, or they're just so exhausted they're going to bed or they go to bed and they're, and they're just tired. Well, smoke and carbon monoxide are silent killers. The only way you can protect yourself is with the nose that never sleeps a smoke detector, and a carbon monoxide detector. Have them. Install them. Ask a neighbor to install them. Call your brother down the street. Call his, your Aunt Lucy. Say, come down and help me put these in. Put them in. Keep the batteries changed as they need to be changed. Throw them away after about 8 to 10 years and get a new one. They'll save your life or the life of your family. Preparedness is wicked cool. And it's awesome to be prepared for the zombie apocalypse. And it's awesome to be prepared for EMPs. Or it's awesome to be prepared for famine. Or all those terrible things that, that can happen in the world and that we're preparing for. But these things, fire emergencies and and gas emergencies happen every day right now and they can be just as disastrous to a family as a tornado save your lives protect your lives it's worth it it's worth it go to the store get those devices put in call your fire department a lot of fire departments either have a program where they can come install them for you if you have them. Some fire departments have them. Uh, the American Red Cross has a program where you can get smoke detectors from them for free. Take advantage of those things or just go get them. They're not expensive. The best preps you can get. Let's get ready. I want you to stay safe.